Okay guys, we're back inside our Helldivers and today we've got some interesting stuff coming for you guys as we've got an update coming from Twinbeard that managed to slip under the radar for us yesterday. This one's going to make you guys extremely happy as we've got some information with regards to the DPS and the DOT with regards to the fire output. On top of that, we have got an extremely invasive anti-treat that doesn't seem to be doing the job whatsoever. Some talks about the difficulty scaling and some leaks for you guys guys who are interested in it don't worry we'll give you the spoiler warnings before they come up so if you don't want to get involved with that you don't have to now with that being said if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated and on top of that check out our sponsor for today's video control freak the number one in controller gaming aiming that's right we made it rhyme but not only that if you head down to the description right now click on the link and use code cloud plays at checkout we'll get you guys a cheeky 12 percent discount and that's right it's much better than 10. so with that being said let's dive on into the information that we've got at hand as it seems to be a bit of a spicy one going into the weekend which is usually our quieter days so something that slipped under the radar for me just yesterday over at the helldivers official discord channel somebody had actually asked the community managers that can you tell me why the hulk's flamethrower immediately kills you even if you get tickled by it is something to do with the new tweaks to fire damage whatever it is this s is ridiculous my only gripe about anything since the game had come out i also loved magicka so on and so forth they give them a bit of an ego boost with regards to other games but nonetheless we managed to get a response back from twinbeard the community manager inside of the hell divers official discord actually stated it is ridiculous or at least wrong and something that we're changing we're looking over the fire systems as a whole at the moment dps and dot that you die so quickly the host issues etc so on and so forth it's an elaborate process so we're doing it in parts more to follow as far as info is concerned have a nice weekend and thanks for the input glad to hear you're enjoying hd2 as well as liked our older stuff now this one is an interesting one because they haven't made this one publicly announced now as to why they haven't publicly announced it is your guess as good as mine this one is quite a big gripe for the community at the moment as far as fire damage goes they keep buffing it in all sorts of realms but they never seem to actually buff it in a regard that works as a positive for us it seems to be a bit of a difficult one at the moment especially with the new war bond that's recently released we didn't really have any fire protection outputs with regards to that armor perks so the community aren't too happy about this one but this is something that they are working on hopefully it's something that they can rectify very very soon moving on though to a reddit post that managed to get 2.7 thousand upvotes this one is an interesting one to say the least i actually never thought about it with this regard states right ta you have a very invasive anti-cheat so can you finally start banning cheaters now this i didn't ever think about but we have had the overall leak points on the anti-cheat just recently with regards to how invasive this thing actually is the software that they use it generally tends to dive in quite a lot into your systems and otherwise but can't actually manage to use the anti-cheat to, to clear down any cheaters meaning that a lot of stuff that has been leaked over recent days is obviously being leaked over recent days it shouldn't really be accessible but that is something that we're going to take a look at this post right here says that this is hilarious most of them are trying to be sneaky about it infinite stratagems you can't even report them if they kick you from a group because they won't show up in recent players at this point why even have an anti-cheat now for you pc players out there i do feel for you big time you guys are having a massive struggle at the moment with this one as it goes the anti-cheat is obviously quite a key feature and with it being a pc iteration it means that people can dive on in to pretty much any aspect of the game and change exactly what they want for those of you on console you are quite lucky we don't have this issue over there which is primarily exactly why i play over there teams tends to keep things quite interesting on a normal scaling but we're kind of interested as to why that's going to be happening and what it is that they're going to be doing about this anti-cheat because it's been an issue for a little while and there is numerous amounts of different software out there that they could be using that would make it a little bit more safer for the consumer. Let me know your guys' opinions via the comment section below and whether you guys are running on PC or on PlayStation 5. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, though, at this point of the video, we're going to announce that we have got a giveaway going on for you guys for a copy of Helldivers 2. And if you've got the game, don't panic. You 
you guys will get the money equivalent in super credits. It's extremely simple. All I need for you guys to do is head down into the comment section and put a blue love heart in that comment section. It'll enter you in quite nicely and we can dive on through with it. We'll make sure that we announce the winners coming up just tomorrow. That'll be going up on the community page and the giveaway section inside of the Discord, which is now just under 11,000 people large. So if you guys wanna get some people to play with and some people who are trustworthy to say the least, then head down to the description inside of the Discord, may get announced in there as the winner, and you've always got a Helldiver there to help you out when you need that extra hand. Now, moving on to the rest of the video, though, we have got some really weird talk about the difficulty scaling that has got 11,500 upvotes, which seems to be a interesting one. And then we're going to be going into leak territory. So just be careful, guys. So we're getting into that point of the video where some of you guys may want to drop off. Moving on, though, we've got this first Reddit post that says it's absurdly pathetic to see that players complaining about the Hell Dive difficulty. It's the hardest difficulty in the game. Well, after suicide mission difficulty. Hell Dive is not the default. How are you willingly playing the most challenging difficulty? A difficulty that implies failure is the likely outcome, and still complaining that the devs make need to make it easier. It's pathetic to even post content complaining about enemy spawns on Hell Dive, like you didn't choose to play the hardest difficulty i think we kind of understand where this post is going and what the overall consensus is of it and unfortunately i do have to agree i've seen a lot of people jumping into the hell dive difficulty setting at around level 20 25 and to be completely frank with you it just makes absolutely no sense is that stage you're essentially saying that you're expecting to be carried over into the win for that one because you ain't completing a hell dive difficulty at level 20 on your own you're looking for the carry just be honest about about it. It's no point complaining about the way that it's panning out and we already spoke about the posts that are being completely colluded inside of the Reddit just earlier on today where people are essentially just corralling up different ads and stuff like that and taking photos to make it look like it's a lot worse than what it is. Don't believe everything you see on the internet guys. It's to be taken with a pinch of salt. Now, moving on though, we are into leaked territory. So for those of you guys who do not want to be involved with this one, this is the point of the video where you shall disappear. Are we all gone? Yep. Okie dokie. Right, let's dive on in to what we've got going. The Eagle air-to-air -air missiles testing video has been surfaced over on the Helldivers Leaks Reddit. And this one is quite a big one. It does seem to be a little bit boring, if I'm completely honest. It looks pretty cool for the most part, but we've got a lot of other stratagems that do roughly the same thing. This will be quite good, though, for taking out in-air targets, as you can see via the video footage in the background. It's definitely a little bit different to some of the stuff that we've got. Bird and explosion an explosion if you time things right it's going to pan out in the right way but this is the air to air missile testing let me know what you guys are thinking via the comment section below and if this is something you guys can see yourself taking in to your battles over on Helldivers. Next up though, we have got a brand new objective piece which has managed to hit the scene and this thing looks a little bit weird. It's a call to communications relay and this is essentially linked to the cyborgs. Apparently, right here it states that it's usually seen in cyborg territory. These individual sites have four stages, hold input, hold input the input stages are always the same second up up down left left up up right up and then the fourth obviously runs in a different format but this is a extremely interesting one and one that we are getting a little bit more information on now we know how this game operates and how it works and the more leaks that come out about a certain objective generally means that it's due to hit our screens pretty damn soon right now we're getting more and more illuminate show up all over the damn place and now the cyborgs are starting to show up like bloody wildfire with cyberstan obviously being the main focus for most players it's likely that we are going to see this one over future weeks although as always take what i'm saying with a pinch of salt and the final one, I don't know how to take this one. This one was kind of more of a, we're going to show you guys and you guys need to give me your opinion on this. We've seen a lot of leaked armor in the systems and how this one sort of looked just doesn't seem right to me. It was posted up in our Discord and I thought I'd bring it to your attention. But you can see right here, we've got this armor. Now this is running at about a medium armor, I'd like to say. And it's got the toxic waste input on the front. It looks pretty damn cool, but at the same time, as far as the textures go, it looks like it's been community made. I might be completely wrong. This might be an in-game actual sourcing. We may be able to see this armor very soon. But 
yeah, I don't know. I couldn't really tell with this one. It looks pretty cool, but nonetheless, I don't know if I would rock it if that's how the textures looked. Now, hopefully, we will see some more of these armor sets hit the store very soon as it has been a little bit quiet and it's actually getting a little bit irritating seeing that these super credit stores haven't really updated much. We've had a lot of the same sort of armor sets rotating around now. I've actually purchased every single one. So right now the store is borderline irrelevant to me and I don't really see any use of it being there. So if Arrowhead don't manage to update it pretty damn soon, we're gonna get pretty bored of that one overall. I'm not asking for more microtransactions, but I'm definitely asking for more microtransactions. With that being said, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much again for watching and being such amazing people. Like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the clouds. Thank <music> you.